As the era of Floyd Casey Stadium comes to a close, Baylor football players and coaches reflect on some of their fondest moments at the 64-year-old stadium. The first game I actually coached there was in 1989 uh, when I was at Stephenville. We played Belton and uh, played them in by district. They were number five in the state, and we were not, not that good. We actually upset them here, so that was a good memory. And then had another three or four games, you know, through high school. Back to high school, uh, we played Robert Griffin there my sophomore year, and uh, actually getting to play against him and, and seeing what, what he's doing now, it, it's, it's probably one of the most memorable moments. While some memories go back to the high school days, others had the chance to take part in some of the biggest games in Baylor football history. Probably, probably that blackout game was, you know, because that was probably the most most full I've ever seen Floyd Casey, and that was just a, a, a whole different type of energy. The Kansas State and the blackout game, uh, I didn't get to play much of the blackout game, but the atmosphere of that game was the best I've ever felt. And Kansas State, just, uh, you know, really I remember Lake's 80-yard run really sealing the deal for everything. But no matter what their favorite memory at the case is, winning here on Saturday may just be the most important of them all. Floyd Casey has a lot of tradition, um, and so it's our job to make sure that, that, that we ended out right. Um, you know, end that tradition on a good note, start a new tradition in, in the new stadium with a good note. And, um, you know, just for all, for all the guys that, that have played there before, you know, it's kind of our job to, to you know, salute to them. You know, hopefully we can add, add a couple or one more to it this, this weekend. At Floyd Casey, Tim O'Donnell, News Channel 25 Sports.